So if you by chance watch my main channel, then you'll know that I have a series where I play through Teddy Bridgewater's college football career in NCAA 12. And on January 26th, I live streamed an episode and declared that that would be episode nine. However, in the live stream, I mentioned that I had previously recorded another episode of the previous week in game, but I couldn't upload it because I lost all of my face cam footage and all of my microphone audio. So I decided not to post it on the main channel and just replaced episode nine with a live stream. So I'm not gonna upload it to the main channel at all. I'm just scrapping it completely. Instead, I'm gonna post it raw here on Joe Chat Gaming so that you can actually see what happened and the horrible mistakes that I made along the way. And trust me, there's a lot of terrible mistakes that I made. I'm sorry that this episode gets scrapped because it was a very exciting episode for me to record, but I hope you enjoy raw footage. Sixty thousand fans are here along the Monongahela for what should be a fantastic game. Football from Mountaineer Stadium in Morgantown is coming up. Louisville. Louisville. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He hits a line drive here. Harwell takes it to 12. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. For West Virginia, tell us what we should be on the lookout for from their offense. This is all about putting the ball up in the air, getting it into the hands of the receiving unit, and letting them do the work. The defense needs to be prepared for a lot of different looks and lots of rotating personnel, particularly the wide receiver. Sherman adjusts the play at the line. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run, but they need to be careful of the play-action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. Moore sweeps right, makes it to the 47. The defense was a little bit slow in reacting to the pitch out, and he had the time and space to break open for a good game. Throws incomplete, broken up. Nice defensive play. The thing I like here is watch the awareness by the defender. Look how he reads this play, focuses on the ball once it's thrown, and then breaks on the ball to deflect it away. That's tremendous effort. Sherman steps back to pass. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. He'll get the call again. Makes it out to about the 33. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their scheme. Trying to change the play. And he can't get away from the pressure. And for Anderson, what a year he's having. He now has 10 sacks on the season. Every team they've played has found out the hard way what a nightmare he is to try to block. He can demoralize an offensive line by just lining up on the field against them. Jackson takes it left. Nice run there as they work the outside. Sherman back to throw. Knocked down. Incomplete. Nice play by the defense to bring up fourth down. The defender made a solid effort to get to the ball there. Nice stop. And it's good. Yeah. 
West Virginia lines up for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. They'll take over at the 20-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Play fake and looking to run. Tackle at the 31. Well, the defensive backs completely jumped the run. Only the run was never there. It was just that misstep that allowed the completion. Good open field tackle. I'll tell you what, this defensive coordinator is not afraid to send the house. He brought every linebacker, and the quarterback was still able to convert the first down. He's going to try and scramble. Throws into coverage, just picked off. Brought down at the 42-yard line. Spectacular play there by the linebacker to come away with that interception. I don't even think the quarterback saw him on that play. He was right there waiting for the ball. West Virginia is up a field goal. Throws out to the running back, no good. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. Sherman, back to pass. And that one's fallen incomplete. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. He heaves it deep. It's picked off, and it's the sophomore. Missed tackle, and he's level at the 13. This quarterback better start making better decisions in the passing game. Otherwise, this corner will come up with even more picks in the future. Nice run there. Waller gains around six yards on the run. Pass out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. Sometimes when you throw it that hard, you can't control the accuracy all that well. He'll get it under control, though, in time. This place is starting to get fired up. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. And they convert the first down on that run. And the key to that play is a good blocking up front by the Hog Mollies. Can't get away. Nice tackle. A two-yard run by the halfback. Well, those are the kind of hits that'll take some miles off a ball carrier. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 27. He drops back. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. He had a couple of freight trains coming at him, but when they blitzed, it created a hole in the coverage, and they took advantage of it. Great concentration. Nice throw to hit the out route against man coverage for a first down. From the 43-yard line, it's first down. Drops back on first down. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. They get a one-yard loss on that one. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. He's scrambling. Slides down to the ground. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call.
And so it's another third down upcoming here. Finds his receiver who's all alone. That was actually pretty good defense. But a great pass and a great catch were enough to overcome it. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. The score here in Morgantown, West Virginia, three, Louisville, nothing. Here's the draw. Nice play to set up first and goal. This whole drive has been an exhibition in ball control by this offense. Everything seems to be working right now. Great run, and he's brought down in the backfield. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it, and the holes will start to open up. Play 13 of the current drive. It's second down. They're crowding the line. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Dead ball. Don't start on the offense. Still, still second down. down. It's second down. There's only eight yards between the ball and the end zone. At the two. He gained a good six yards on that scamper. They put everyone up on the line. The Cardinals are going to take a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. So here it is. Crucial third down as they try to take the lead. A short gain on the quarterback draw. Can the defense make a stop? Fourth down and goal to go. We're at the one-yard line. They've got their goal line sets on the field. This might be a good time for play action. He's changing things up. Sacked on the fake handoff. Did they have kicked a field goal there, Herbie? Yeah, I, I think so. It's only the first half. Get as many points as you can now because you never know how many you're going to have to score in the second half to win. Sherman looking to throw on first down. Whoa, very close to a safety. Unfortunately, I've taken a few of those in my day, and they are not pleasant. They'll option left. And they get the safety. On this part of the field, the offensive line has to at least get enough of a push to give the ball carrier room to get past the goal line. Right there, it was the defense getting all the push. Oh, man, he took him down hard. They'll get the ball here at the 38-yard line. First and 10. He's scrambling. Slides down. So the quarterback picks up about eight on the scramble. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He drops back, and they got him. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. Great tackle at the 35-yard line. Not the greatest pass, but a really, really good play by the receiver to bail out his quarterback. Try to change the play. Anderson, 
It's second and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. Drops back to pass. Decides to tuck it in. He's got space. Tackle made at the 30-yard line. The quarterback trying to make a play. Well, he did a nice job of getting some yards there on the scramble, but he needs to learn to slide to avoid those big hits. He's changing things up. Slides down to the ground. The defense is having a difficult time stopping this drive. Right now, they're doing enough to be in situations they want to be in, but they have to finish the job. And the plays start to add up, so we'll have to see if this defense starts to look tired out there. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. The defensive coordinator has a lot of confidence in his pass defense, and he's releasing a safety to stop the run. Back to pass. Now he's scrambling. Slides down. He picks up a good seven yards there, and the quarterback keeper, Louisville, takes a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. This defense is looking to make it three straight trips to the red zone without a single point. Fires quickly, and it's picked off. He has some room. Big play there by the defense. That's their second pick of the half. Yeah, this offense has to stop making mistakes. These turnovers are putting pressure on their defense to make stops, and it's hard to win when you're always giving the ball away. Throws it. Flyers in there, got it, touchdown. Great effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. the PAT. Chart looks ready to kick this one off. He's to the 10. Brought down by the kicker. They'll get the ball here at the 33. tries to buy some time and they got him i'm really not so sure what he's waiting for he had some open receivers he's gonna have to pin that one on himself they'll spread the field with five wide deep pass down the left side huge gain and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal I'm not sure the defender even saw that pass. It was lobbed so high. Great concentration to haul it in. First and goal from the two. Let's see if they just don't try to power their way into the end zone here. The red zone has not been kind to this offense. Are they going to end this drought? And he hits him hard at the 18. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. The score here in Morgantown, the Mountaineers 10, the Cardinals 2. The teams are lined up, and we're just about ready to start this second half. He sends this one deep. The offense will take over at the 20. It's first and 10. The entire defense just collapsed on that run and got penetration into the backfield. Nice job by the safety to clean up the mess. He scrambled. He might not be able to get the pass off. Slides down. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Fellas, the crowd is just going ballistic in support of their defense right here on third and short. They'll go with the run once again. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. With an injury update, here's Aaron Andrews. Thank you, Brad. The coaching staff has just informed me he suffered a mild ankle sprain on that play. He's in too much pain to keep playing, and the feeling is that this injury will keep him out for another game at least. 
Brad, back to you upstairs. Well, a big blow for these guys. Let's hope he's better and back on the field soon. Thanks, Aaron. From their own 42-yard line, first down. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 42-yard line. Aaron and out long. No, incomplete. That ball had interception written all over it, but the defender couldn't hang on. I think the quarterback there was a little too intent on hitting that receiver. Complete knocked away. Wasn't a bad pass at all, but just a good heads up effort to get his fingertips on the ball. Harwell is back awaiting the punt. Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. Gets to about the 34 yard line. We've got a first and 10, and this is the eighth play of the drive. At the 27, White gained seven yards with a catch there. Catches it, hit for no gain. They pick up two yards on the play action pass. it to the 22-yard line. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. Deep pass to the end zone. Incomplete. Unbelievable. He had a pick in the end zone and it just slipped right through his hands. Wow. He is really kicking himself after that one. Caught with room to work. Very good tackle in space. That'll be a seven-yard pickup. This is good timing here between the quarterback and the wide receiver. Recognizing the soft coverage from the defensive back, the quarterback puts the ball right in the money for a nice game. Up the middle for a nice game. You've got to admire the effort to make sure he got every last foot he needed to pick up the first down. He's changing things up. We've got a flag down on the field. Might have been offside. Offside. Home defense. First down. First down. They'll try to get it in from the five-yard line. the right side and there is nothing going there a yard maybe two on the carry he really did a nice job of anticipating the run and making the play on the ball carrier halfback gets a call and he's got the touchdown a powerful push by the line and a really nice run that'll get you into the end zone almost every time so now you have the question should the offense go for the two-point conversion it's still only the third quarter so this is a very debatable call toss sweep he looks for the corner he's in for the conversion a long 15 play 81 yard drive and they add eight points to their total brad i thought that was a textbook drive. i thought they did a really good job of showing balance and mixing the play calling with the run and the pass just an overall well executed touchdown drive arwell from the five he makes it out to maybe the 29 yard line they'll start at the 29 yard line we've got a first and ten Rose. But he goes down at the 44. They're calling an audible. 
Complete. They'll bring him down at the 40-yard line. They got four yards on that one. I like the play call here. Getting to the receiver on the screen, he had blockers in front, and he turned the play into a nice little game. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. I'm not even sure the ball carrier saw the corner coming for him. That happened so fast, he never had a chance to make a move. Catches it. There's a very impressive open field tackle. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he splits the uprights. Chark has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He'll take it from the two. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. So at the end of three quarters, it's only a one-possession game with the score. West Virginia, 13. Louisville, 10. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. To the right and tackled immediately. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. Nice play here by the senior to make the sure tackle. It's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy. Can't find anyone open. Slides down. About nine yards there for the quarterback. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. And he tackles him hard at the 37. Really strong run to get the yards they needed for the first. I've seen way too many offenses airing it out on third and short and failing. I just have to sit there and scratch my head sometimes. Good call. Caught out of the open. He goes down at the 29. Perfect time for the play-action pass. Well, here the defense is looking for the run, and the play-action put him in even a worse position. They just weren't ready for the pass there. Give to the back and hit hard for a loss. That was well defended by this defense. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. They're calling an audible. And they tackle him at the four-yard line. And that was a dangerous pass. Yeah, looking at this play, you can't tell if he made a bad read or if he's just that confident with his ability to get the ball in there. One thing's for sure, this quarterback has a phenomenal arm. First and goal from the three. They're knocking on the door. Crowd the line. And he is drilled at the four. And the fullback plows ahead for maybe a yard. They put everyone up on the line. Here's a pitch, left side. Drop down at the two-yard line. Waller comes away with about two yards on a little toss play. Just over two minutes in the game. Touchdown, and they take the lead. It's a big touchdown. Now, by kicking the extra point, it'll force them to have to drive the length of the field to score a touchdown.
And he adds the extra point. A nine play, 74 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. I think the thing, Brad, that I'm seeing is the quarterback's taking advantage of some one on one opportunities on the outside for some big plays for this offense. Louisville gets set to kick this one away. He got all of that one. And he's taken down at the 26 yard line. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. This is obviously a big possession. They have to get the ball in the end zone right here. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Throws a laser across the middle. And he's tackled at the 40. I love the blitz, but the quarterback did a really good job of seeing it and reading it. And then standing tall in the pocket to find his man for the first. Sherman steps back to pass. We got a flag down on the field. Might have been offsides. He showed superb athletic ability on that catch. You know, the ball isn't going to hit you in the numbers every time. As a receiver, you've got to be able to adjust quickly and sometimes be willing to give up your body. Give to the tailback. Touchdown, and that's going to give him the lead. Well, that's a big-time play there, and if they make the extra point, they'll go up by three. But the defense still has to be ready to go out there and defend the potent offense, try to stop a field goal or a touchdown. With a three-play, 74-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. So the score now, 20-20. 17. Tackle made at the 30-yard line. I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of the fireworks today. They know exactly where they need to get for their kicker to have a shot. If they can get closer or even into the end zone, that's great. But the crucial thing is to be efficient and give the kicker a chance to tie it. He's on the run, and he's taken down at the 34-yard line. You wonder if they'll go to the no huddle here. Not a lot of time left. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. He's going to try and scramble. Rolling out to the right side. Slides down. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. Now he tries to buy some time. He's tackled at the 45. Call his own number on that one. I like the idea of trying to run here, but the defense really made him pay the price for trying to run. We have less than a minute to go. He's going to air it long. Drops it. Louisville will take a timeout, and that was their first timeout. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. He's going to try and scramble. Broken out. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. Nine times out of ten, the defense will make a stop on that play. But, you know, based on the situation, this offense did have to go for it. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He'll go down to one knee. 